Today, we are staying at the Downtown Grand in Las Vegas. Let's head on in. Hey you guys, it's Ruby. We have just checked into our room here at the Downtown Grand. We're in the Gallery Tower. That is the newest tower, so it's looking more fresh and renovated. We're in room 3771. Let's take a look. This room is about 300 square feet, which is small, but it really doesn't feel it. I think it's because the ceilings are really tall. The window is floor to ceiling, letting in a ton of natural light. We have this really big, nice king size bed here. There's a little chaise by the window. Our view is awesome. This is one of my favorite views of downtown so far with Circa, Fremont, you can see Binion's and a great view of the pool. We're on the seventh floor and I can see the canopy. It's pretty far away. Hoping that means we're gonna have a quiet night here. Also here in the room have your TV area. They do have a lot of drawer space and a good size closet. There is a coffee maker, no mini fridge, unfortunately. It looks like there's a lot of outlets and some good lighting. So overall, pretty pleased with this part of the room. Very happy with this bathroom for being a downtown property. You can tell this is a newer tower because this bathroom is really large. Plenty of space to spread out. Two people can fit in here. You have a good size vanity to put your things and the shower looks really new. It's kind of one of those open door ones. It just feels new and renovated and big. So that is our room for the night. Very happy with it so far. We've never stayed here at Downtown Grand and you guys have highly requested it. Although we definitely have been here to gamble, you guys are gonna love the casino here. First things first, looking out this window, I cannot wait to go check out this pool area. wouldn't know it from the weather, but we are here at the end of March, which is pool season. It just needs to warm up a little bit. We're here at the Citrus Grand Pool Deck. It's on the third floor. You have a gorgeous rooftop view of downtown. It's incredible. The pool is this true infinity edge. It's like fully lapping over the sides. Now they have all of these cabanas, like huge cabanas all around the outside. They also have like a little couch areas and day beds. They told us that they don't charge a rental fee. It's just a food and beverage minimum. Now they have just revamped their whole pool menu. So we did order food. I wanted to try the bulgogi beef tacos. Mr. Ruby got a crispy chicken Caesar wrap. They also do night swimming here so honestly when it gets really warm when we get that Vegas heat I'm gonna come back here and hang out because for downtown this is a great spot just got back from the pool I can't wait to go and check it back out when it's like warmer outside I highly recommend those tacos they were incredible now we're gonna head downstairs this casino is fantastic and I can't wait to show it to you guys. So Downtown Grand's Casino is a decent size with a lot of slot machines in it, but we just had some friends in town for March Madness and they specifically asked me 
where to play blackjack and I brought them here. Downtown Grand has $1 blackjack tables. They are six to five. However, they have $5 tables here that are three to two. It gets better. They also have $5 roulette and $5 craps at night and on weekends. So I can't stress enough that if you are a table games player, Downtown Grand is where you guys want to be. They also have a brand new sports book in here and they have a center bar called Furnace. I really like playing video poker at this bar because they are really generous with the drinks as long as you're actively playing. So I will say I definitely think that Downtown Grand's casino could be considered a hidden gem, but more of you are catching on because of how great these table games are. enjoy the location of downtown grand we are on the corner of ogden and third street it is one block from fremont street so you are right by the action but you can get a little bit away from it directly across from pizza rock one of my favorite restaurants downtown you are also right next to the mob museum if you want to go check that out so this is just a really perfect downtown spot i love to be just a little bit away from fremont but still really close As far as dining goes at Downtown Grand, they do have Freedom Beat inside the casino. We're gonna try that one out for brunch tomorrow. They do own a few of the places across the streets. They just opened a hot and juicy crawfish. However, I have been getting a ton of requests to check out Triple George Grill, so we're gonna head in there now. Just got seated here at Triple George Grill. I ordered myself a sidecar, which is a totally classic cocktail. It's a steakhouse, so of course, we're gonna get some classic steak. We got our food. Now we started out very traditional. I got myself a mixed green salad. It had a really nice balsamic vinaigrette on it. Mr. Ruby got the French onion soup. That was delicious. I highly recommend you get that as a starter. For our mains, we both got a filet. I got an eight ounce, Mr. Ruby got the 10 ounce. We got mashed potatoes and some really delicious crispy bacon Brussels sprouts. Very happy. The steaks are cooked to absolute perfection. Finished our meal at Triple George Grill. Dinner all together was like 200 bucks before tip. I really enjoyed it. I would eat there again. It was great. It's nighttime. Usually right now we would go find ourselves a bar, but I have to say we're at Downtown Grand. I just want to gamble. So across the street they do have Sidebar and Hogs and Heifers, which is supposed to be really fun. But if I'm at Downtown Grand, this is where you're gonna find me. I just wanna play video poker, enjoy the casino floor. We're gonna end our night here. I will see you guys all for breakfast in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Um, we slept great. The sheets are really soft here. You can hear Fremont, but it was like really quietly. It wasn't anything big, so we slept great. A little groggy this morning. Definitely need to go down and get some coffee and some breakfast. All right, got to Freedom Beat. This place is open 24 hours a day here inside Downtown Grand. Now on the weekends, if you come on Saturday or Sunday, you can get bottomless mimosas or Bloody Marys for 16 bucks, which is amazing. That's like the price of one mimosa. They also do live music in here on weekends. It's Monday though, I'm all mimosa out. I think we're just gonna stick with coffee and get some breakfast. We got our breakfast, Mr. Ruby had the All-American, and I got avocado toast for $9, a side of fruit. Now, if you don't feel like sitting down for breakfast, the Art Bar actually has a really good continental breakfast deal that you could grab and go as well. So, gonna finish up here. Enjoy our breakfast. All right, time for final thoughts on Downtown Grand. So, these rooms were more this week because we're still in the middle of like March Madness chaos, and this, gallery tower room was $150 for like a weekday price. 
But if you look like into next week, it's down to $100. And $100 for this room I think is fabulous. Plenty of outlets, it's updated, the carpeting's really nice, the furniture's new, the bathrooms are really great for downtown. Um, my only complaint was not having a mini fridge, but other than that, like these were, this was very comfortable. Their standard, like cheapest rooms looked like they were maybe about $20 less. And quite frankly, this is absolutely a gambler's casino, especially table games. They had an okay variety of slots, but I would say the table games are where they're just absolutely crushing it. I'm definitely impressed. I know so many of you guys love this one, especially locals, and I definitely agree. We did uh, ask permission to film at Downtown Grand, and they did comp our stay. I hope that I'm giving you such a comprehensive view of every property we stay at and showing you all of the amenities and the price points and the overall vibe so that you guys can make good decisions all on your own, whether you think the property is right for you, regardless of my opinions. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will catch you guys all in my next.